Lauren had just caught the bouquet at her best friend's wedding when she saw the text that gave it away. She'd been wondering, hopefully, if Lee might take the opportunity to pop the question tonight. The setting of her hotel was idyllic. She could picture him making a charmingly clumsy speech with a big grin on his face. The phone he'd left on the table lit up with a text. She picked it up. The message was from Liz, an old friend of hers from primary school. It seemed odd, really, because she and Lee didn't know each other. She'd introduced them at a reunion a few months ago, but that was it. In her message, Liz said she'd booked them the hotel in Croatia for the weekend. That was doubly strange because Lee had told her he had to go to a work weekend in Glasgow. He'd been really apologetic, weirdly apologetic, in fact, given that he seemingly had no choice. When Lauren met Lee six years earlier at that party, she'd heard about his reputation as a philanderer. But he seemed so smitten with her, his face would light up when she entered the room. Maybe she was the one to tame him. And for six years he'd been all hers, or so she had thought. They'd had a great time together. Six years she'd given him. She'd assumed he was com as committed to her as she was to him. But the longer they'd spent together, the more she'd closed her eyes to the little warning signs. He only ever talked about their future in the vaguest of terms. On the rare occasions the conversation came round to marriage, his answers were evasive, yet gave her just enough to keep her hopes and dreams alive. Of course, one day. Don't worry, trust me, I love you. With every year that they lived together, it seemed like Lee was going to be it, the one. And so she pushed any lingering doubts and uncertainties about their relationship to the back of her mind. The prospect of starting all over again at age 32 was not appealing. She would make it work, whatever. So without realising it, she found herself stuck in a relationship where she was never completely sure what he felt or how strongly she'd grown afraid to ask. Now it made sense. She was the one who planned their future. She was the one who was committed. They would get married, have children, they would grow old together. She would make sure he was never lonely and he would do the same for her. But Lauren had been wrong, totally and utterly wrong. She was eyeing up wedding rings. Lee was eyeing up somebody else. Their future was all in her head. It just wasn't in his.